Okay, ask Harvard 1.0. <laughs> cool. Quiet on the set! Hey, so I haven't done a Q&A for a long while now, and I thought that this would be a good time to do that. So yeah, that's what this is. Let's get into it. So full disclaimer, I'm not gonna try and pronounce any of these names because I know that I'm probably gonna botch like 95 or probably 100% of them. So I will put the question either here or here. So the first question is favorite tech and non-tech YouTubers. And that's really hard. Um, it changes a lot. And you know, obviously tech YouTubers are meant for different people. Like people that like Marquez Brownlee aren't necessarily going to like Ash Taylor and vice versa. So they're meant for different audiences. But I would say like right now, I watch a lot of Matt Gonzalez. I watch a lot of Zachary Anderson, um, Jerry Rig everything. But again, like that changes a lot. And you know, it depends on how I'm feeling. But uh, I would say like t like YouTubers in general, I really love Binging with Babish, which is like by far one of my favorite channels ever because he does crazy awesome stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna say Peter McKinnon because he's awesome. And of course like Ethan Klein because who doesn't like Ethan Klein? Next up is what would you like to see on the next iPhone? And that is super easy. It is the 120 Hertz display. Is the MacBook Pro still an expensive mistake? Hell yes! So the homie Vin Dang asks, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would you change? Like my 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 absolute paranoia of like people seeing my work and that type of thing. I wanna make sure it's absolutely perfect for people to see. And if there's one little thing, I will go back and fix it and obsess over it. And like that, that's one thing that I would like to change about myself because it does drive me crazy sometimes. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time this question was asked, the floating shot, how? Not. What is your regular job? Um, I use cameras to make a living. Uh, I'm a freelance cinematographer, so that's what I do when I'm not doing this. No, 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 no. What's, what's your regular job? We, we know you do YouTube, but what's your regular job? Oh, I'm a porn star. <laughs> Next up is, have you been to film school or are you self-taught? Entirely self-taught. When is the Pixel 2 review? Very, very soon. I haven't really started it yet, mostly because, <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> mostly because the iPhone 10 has been taking up the most amount of my attention at the moment, but I assure you that is coming along. Benjamin asks, Benjamin asks, I can't say that, Benjamin. asks. Benjamin asks, am I big? Oh no, Benjamin asks, am, f I can't Benjamin say asks. 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 Benjamin asked. 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 Benjamin asks, am I big on background? F okay, 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 I got this. Benjamin asks, I am big on background music in videos. Where do you get the inspiration to pick music for your videos? <sighs> the short answer is, basically, I try and go with music that suits the edit. And, you know, I try and pick themes for different videos. So sometimes I'll go for a sci-fi theme, sometimes I'll go for a retro theme. And really the music that I pick, I, I wanna sort of coincide with that theme, if that makes any sense. Next up, do you go to college? Future goals. Uh, I went to college. I've been out for about a year and a half now. Future goals, I just really love what I'm doing right now. I love making videos. I love being where I am, I love, you know, everything. So just more of this would be lovely. Uh, <laughs> Andrew asks, how do you forget to film something? And that is really easy. You just forget to film that particular thing. But his real question is, how has growing up in a theater had an effect on your video career? And honestly, like everything that I've learned through, you know, filming products and, and filming actors, that's all stemmed from theater. Cause like, you know, I grew up around that environment. I, I grew up working with, with different artists and actors from like lighting designers to actors, to musicians, to, you know, everything in between. It rubs off on you after a while. Next question is why are you not regular on YouTube? And the short, simple question is, you know, I just don't have time a lot because, you know, I, I make videos for a living. This isn't my full-time job. So, you know, when I have time, I make YouTube videos. It's just finding the time to do that. Oh damn, this one gets deep. What is your biggest regret? Probably going to college kids stay in school. And that's all the questions I'm gonna to answer today. If you care to ask me any questions in the future, please make sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link down below, as well as probably at the end of this video. So please go do that. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and take it easy. Bye. All right, cut! That's a wrap!
Alright, I, 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 oh, oh, oh no.